Welcome back to Taste Like Disney. I'm Joey. That is, wait a second, that's not Sophie. That's Fred. Maleficent, bouncy. Wait a second, they're in Sophie's spot. All right, so no, uh, Sophie's actually not here. She's at the groomers right now. Uh, she's getting her hair cut. So she will not be here for this part of it. But uh, we did, we went to a lake in Michigan last week, or last weekend, and we had, I'm sure, Sophie will put some footage of herself in this video because she is the producer and editor of this video also, if you're new here. Uh, so if you see any things going across the uh, screen, uh, kind of jabs at me, mostly, that's from Sophie. Sophie does all that. She edits and produces. And she has, she is a dog. It's, it's amazing. Uh, if you could ever see it, I'll, I don't know if she'll ever let us see her in action or not, but... Anyways, yeah, Sophie's at the groomer, but I'm sure she will put herself in this video. She always does. Every single time. Okay, so today is really exciting, though, because we're doing a recipe that my niece, Renata, asked me to do about three months ago, and I have been trying to get to it. She keeps asking me, so we're doing it today. Renata wants to see this. It is the um, loaded baked potato soup from the Carnation Cafe in Disneyland. Um, and I've, I've never had this. She has. Uh, so I'm sure it's fantastic. I mean, it, it is really hot out. I was going to wait till the fall or winter, but you know what? Let's just do it now, right? Why not? So let's see. So, and oh, she, she wants me to mention too. So there was a famous chef that worked at the Carnation Cafe for over 60, 60 years. His name is Oscar Martinez. And he... I think he, he might have came up with this baked potato soup. I'm not positive about that, though. I know he had a breakfast potato that was really famous. So I don't know if he came up with this or not, but he uh, he worked at the Carnation Cafe for over 60 years. I have some notes here about Oscar. Uh, and Renata has a picture of herself with Oscar. I hope she can give that to me. I can also show that. Because um, she met him when they, she was there. But he, he retired in... Let's see, September of 2017. And he started working in Disneyland on December 29th, 1956, which is one year after the park opened. And he was originally a busboy, later a grill cook in some Fantasyland quick service locations. I also think he worked at the Tomorrowland Space Bar. I think I read this in this book, Eat Like Walt, which is my favorite book that I own. If you don't have this, you should get it. Because there's a chapter on him in this book as well. It's it's talks about all, all the places he worked, and I'm pretty sure he worked at this at the space bar, also. But he started in the Carnation Cafe in 1967, where he stayed until he retired in 2017. That's crazy. So o over 60 years of service. I uh, said his favorite memory was seeing Walt Disney walk around the park because he actually saw. Walt. I don't know if he actually ever ever formally met him. I've heard some mixed things about that. He, and the, in this book, I think he said he did not, but then I heard somewhere else he did. So I, I don't know, if you know in the comments, let me know if Oscar ever personally met Walt Disney, but he definitely saw him there all the time. And he said he would always kind of sit in the back and uh, they would just leave him alone because he liked to observe the guest as they would be enjoying themselves on a normal day. If they saw that Walt Disney was there, you know, they might act different. Although I'm sure a lot of people noticed Mr. Walt Disney sitting in a Carnation Cafe. I can't even imagine. That would have been amazing. So anyway, so yeah, so we're going to do the baked potato soup from the Carnation Cafe in Disneyland. It sounds delicious. I'm kind of excited. So yeah, I don't think Sophie's going to like Maleficent and Bouncy sitting in her spot there. And I'm surprised Fred, Fred didn't say something. Uh, <laughs> well, we'll see what happens. But uh, and who, who knows, we might even get a picture or maybe a video of Sophie after she's groomed and see how it goes. She's always kind of, uh, she's always kind of iffy on that. She, sometimes she doesn't mind, sometimes she does. So we shall see, but here we go. The loaded baked potato soup from the Carnation Cafe. And also while I'm thinking about it, uh, this recipe comes from the DisneyFoodBlog.com. So check that out. They have a ton of recipes on there and food reviews. Fantastic.
So the first thing we're gonna do is pan fry one pound of diced bacon. And I diced this yesterday. I did some things, uh, I did some things yesterday because I was playing on it yesterday and I never got onto it. So this is just diced regular bacon. And we're gonna fry that up in this pan right here. Look at that, wow. And then once this is crisp enough, which it looks like it is pretty much there, then you can, you want to take it out and drain it on paper towels. All right. And then you're going to separate, you're going to save half of this for the garnish and then the rest we'll use in a little bit. And then next we're going to cook two cups of diced onion, one cup of diced celery, and three fourths cup of diced carrots, which I did off camera. Um, and we're gonna add that to the bacon fat. So there's your two cups diced onion. Add that to the bacon fat. And then one cup diced celery. And then three fourths cup of diced carrots. And you're going to cook this until the onions are translucent. Okay, and while those continue to cook, I can show you this real quick. Um, so the recipe here calls for four large russet potatoes and three large red potatoes. So I diced these yesterday. And if you want to dice them in any time you're going to dice potatoes in, in advance, make sure to store them in water like I did because then they won't turn color. Isn't that exciting? Okay, so uh, we're going to drain these and get ready because as soon as the vegetables are done, we can add these. All right, so those look ready. So we're gonna add our potatoes. So this was, like I said, four russet Idaho potatoes diced. Throw those in there. And these were three medium, maybe, I think I just did four, but uh, medium red potatoes. Drained, obviously, make sure to drain them. Throw these in there. And then we're gonna cook this for about four minutes. Okay, so that's been about four minutes. Looks fantastic. So then we're gonna turn our heat down to low. And then add one fourth cup of flour. And then we're gonna stir that around. Then we're gonna uh, let it cook for about five to seven minutes. I'm now using my right hand. I was trying to film with my right hand, use my left hand, but I'm actually right-handed, so I finally made the switch. Okay, so I think that's ready. So now we're gonna add two cups of chicken stock. And then half of your bacon bits. Okay, so I just added uh, salt and pepper, turned my heat up to medium high, and we're going to let this simmer for 25 minutes. So we'll see what happens here. I'll tell you what, it smells ridiculously good. And you know
You know, that's my favorite word, ridiculously. Okay, and these look like they're about ready, and they, they it doesn't necessarily have to be 25 minutes. This took about that long, but um, it's just till the potatoes are soft. And you can then, you can mash them to make them thicker. Strangely enough, I do not have a potato masher, so I'm going to use a whisk, so we'll see how it works. But yeah, just mash some of them down, and this will give it a creamier, thicker texture. So, I'm not going to do all of them just to feel like that. All right. And then next we're going to add four cups of heavy cream and let that simmer for five minutes. Wow, look at that. All right, so I think this is ready. I cannot wait to try it. Wow. There it is. There it is. So we're going to garnish it with a little sour cream. I'll try to do this on camera. I got this uh, squeeze bottle so I can do a little uh, squiggly type of thing, but we'll see. <laughs> we'll see how it works. I've never tried this before, actually. All right. Uh, let's see if it's open here. Okay, so that, that didn't work, work as well as I thought. It was actually pretty hard to do with uh, one hand. So um, anyway, so we got your sour cream and then cheddar. And these are optional garnishes, obviously. You don't have to use all these. Some cheddar cheese. Some bacon bits that we made ourselves. And then some chives. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna give this a try. This almost looks too good to eat. But I'm gonna eat it. Not on camera, which I'm always self-conscious about, but I've kind of gotten over it, you know? I mean, I, I still kind of feel weird about it sometimes, but what the heck, right? All right, here we go. <laughs> this looks so good. This is almost ridiculous. I, I won't be able to eat all this, but. All right, so I'm getting right into it here. Make sure to get everything, a little sour cream, a little bacon chives potato obviously that's already in there whoops what am i doing okay okay there we go i guess you can see that here it is simply delicious oh wow so the potatoes are cooked great they're not too crunchy my, my wife said make sure they're not too crunchy the potatoes so I think I cooked it long enough that they weren't because if you do it just depends on the, on the way you like it I don't really mind them crunchy myself um, and I don't know exactly how they serve it there because I haven't had it but I need to, to definitely try it uh, but these are not crunchy uh, they're perfect and 
it just, oh, it's so good. I mean, it's delicious. Um, you can definitely, you know, with the with the bacon, you can taste that. I mean, that everything was cooked in the bacon fat. It doesn't hurt the flavor, if you know what I'm talking about. Uh, well, if you do, I don't. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Why, why would I say that? Anyway, yeah, so this, this is fantastic. This gets an A, no joke. Um, you know, like, it, in, and you don't have to add everything to it. it for me, I love the uh, sour cream, chives, the cheese. And the co consistency to me is perfect. It's thick, but not, you know, it's pr pretty thick. And it, you, you can thin it out. You can add more chicken stock, whatever you want. It said you can add water. I don't know. I think it, I don't know if I'd add water because it would kind of change the taste. But chicken stock would work if you want it thinner than this. I actually prefer it thicker. So it's up to you. Uh, but yeah, this is delicious. Baked potato soup, Carnation Cafe. Can't wait to go to Disneyland, try the real thing. Uh, see what my niece thinks of this. I hope she likes it. Uh, I mean, how could you not? It's delicious. So yeah, give it a try. I love it. A plus. I should do some kind of a scale, shouldn't I? I mean, I, I like most things. There are some things I don't like as much as others. Um, but this one, very, very good. And for a special treat here, we have Renata's daughter, Rose, with her in-depth assessment of the baked potato soup. Mm. What do you think? It's good. All right. Is it too, too hot or? No, it's good. Fantastic. I can't wait to have some. I, I've already had some, actually. But... It's really good. So that's our video for today. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please subscribe. If you didn't enjoy it, you should also subscribe because you can make fun of me like Sophie does every day. She's usually doing it right off camera, but she's still at the groomers. So I'm still waiting to go pick her up there. I can't wait to see, see how it all turned out. You know, it's always kind of fun. Um, and you can also hit the like button and leave a comment. And if you'd like to see me make something, put that in the comments and I will get to it eventually, like I just did. It took me four months, but I got to it and it was ridiculously good. Uh, and you can also hit the notification bell and I have new videos. It's usually about two per week. But the last thing I have to say is, if you're confused by all of this, just imagine how I feel. Wow, just 